Yo, yo, it's Rangulius here, and welcome back to Wrench Feels Like Playing Underspace. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you guys a guide to uh, an easy run or an early game. Um, a nice trade route uh, to earn you up to 150,000. Um, the last time I did this run, there's a couple of uh, upgrades that happen. Sometimes when you trade in this game, the uh, economy fluctuates. So some prices go up and down depending on the scarcity of uh, the products as you're trading. Sometimes if you end up trading like a, a, a large amount of stuff at once, um, you, can, you can affect the economy for an extended period of time. So sometimes flight, uh, prices change. Um, the last last time I did this route, I made uh, 180,000 on the in, on the run. Um, this run takes about 11, 12 minutes, um, depending on how often you get stopped by uh, by any kind of like uh, pirates or anything. But uh, overall, it's it's a super quick run, um, uh, and this is all starting with the early uh, early freight freighters you can get that only hold 80 cargo. So. Once you actually get a, a bigger ship here that can hold 150 cargo, I'm sure like the the amount of money you can get is a, is much higher. So we're gonna we're gonna show you here. Um, so we're starting off at Planet Valdric. Um, we'll go to the cargo trader, and what you want to pick up is starship cores. Um, right now they cost me 61, but I think originally they will cost you 30. Um, um, right now they cost me 61, but uh, you're gonna want to pick up starship course and then you're gonna want to Get out of the planet and Then we are gonna hop to uh, Braven star spire uh, outpost in uh, the Baldwin or Valdrick system here We're just gonna head on out to the right here, or the left. Sorry. And anytime, if you get stopped by any pirates, just speed right through them. You're in a freighter. Your goal isn't to blow up ships. Your goal is to make money as quick as possible. Um. So. Even if they down you halfway through a gate here, it, it takes a couple minutes and they'll, uh, right like this. It only takes a couple seconds and then the gate will, uh, the gate will reload. So don't spend too much time, uh, fighting. Only fight as much as you have to. The gate will reload as, uh, I'm not too sure how fast, but they don't take too long. Basically kill one enemy and by the time you kill one enemy you should be able to fly through the uh, jump gate here. And then you're gonna head to uh, the Braven Star Spire jump gate here. Hopefully we don't get stopped too many times by pirates. That can really slow a run down, but only by a couple seconds, about 30 seconds. I think at the jump gates probably take about 30 seconds to reload once they get downed, I think. Kind of seems, seems like that's how long it took. Then you're going to want to dock at Braven Spire, Strip Braven Star Spire. Launch ports are open. Docking permission granted. You're clear to land on docking port one. Switching to the Go 
to the cargo trader. You know, sell your starship cores. I can sell them for seven nineteen, so that makes me a makes me fifty seven thousand. Uh, they normally sell for uh, three hundred and fifty nine. So normally your profit with a regular uh, early freighter is twenty six thousand. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, the reason mine is seven uh, nineteen thousand or seven seven hundred nineteen is just because I've already kind of done a couple of runs, just trying to figure out some some uh, some different trade routes here. So some of the prices have fluctuated for me. Um, and then you're gonna want to buy some water at at nineteen. You're not gonna make too much profit off this, but this is at least you're gonna at least make some profit. So. Buy some water at 19, head out right away, and then we're going to want to head to the Guerrera jump gate, which I think is actually this one. You're just going to, like I said, you're just going to want to ignore any pirates for now. The goal is to trade as quickly as possible not spend too much time running freight you want to spend most of the time playing this game actually playing the game And it's it's nice early game. The ships are really fairly cheap early game. Like all ships, no matter what class, early game are are twenty six thousand. So you can make that up in within a mission or two, depending on what type of missions you're doing um, early on. But uh, I'd say they're 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 reasonably pr reasonably priced. You can buy. Buy reasonably decent ships early on fairly easily. Uh, we're gonna head to Zalahasi or Zalhas Depot, and we're gonna sell our water there. Ignore the fighters. The nice thing is you can dock if you're being attacked. So don't have to worry about disengaging or any kind of deal. Just go up and dock. You're gonna want to make sure that you have manual dock on. You don't want to only have auto dock on because that will uh, that'll definitely negatively affect this. You're getting attacked, and then you're gonna sell your water for 155, profit of 12 there. I think originally no no that was that was how much I bought it for originally. Um, and then you're gonna want to buy Vamium. For 224, it, it's going to cost you 17k or almost 18k, but then you're going to be able to sell it at Planet Valdrick for 1600 a, a piece. So the uh, the return for this is fairly high. I'm going to exit out here. Just instantly go to the gate. Head back to uh, Planet Valdrick. Make sure 
Or I go to the right way here. Yeah. So this run, I think you can get this run under 11 minutes here. I'm wondering if we can get it down to like 10 minutes. And then essentially in about 20 minutes time, you can make about 100 or uh, like 350K in about 20 minutes, which is, which is fairly decent. Um, that'll get you one of the next tier ships the i think the next tier ships cost around uh 220 240k so two two of these runs and you and you have enough money to get you a very very good head start on the game Ignore any fighters. You don't need to engage. Head to Braven Star Spire Outpost. Head on straight to uh, Planet S Air. That is Azir. Yeah, pirates are definitely very prevalent in this game, like the washers and the Mata. They are definitely pretty much at every gate. There was definitely a bit of time there where I felt like there was not very much presence, but it definitely does seem like pretty much every jump gate there's going to be some sort of pirate activity. And I wonder if it's more prevalent when you're when when you're running freight. I wonder if it's something more where it's programmed in to kind of understand that it should be attacking you because you're carrying a bunch of shit. Head on straight on to the next jump gate to uh, Planet Valdrick. So I think I'm sitting around 10 minutes now. Maybe just a bit over 10 minutes at this point. over cargo that's not gonna happen oh. you can kind of just blow up the one by the time you blow up one guy the gate should be ready to get turned back on as long as you don't blow up yourself See it's up. So even with a uh, bit of couple of delays in there, with a couple of uh, piracy attempts there, I think we got this run in at around 12 minutes. That's that's not bad. 150k. This run I made 180k, 
in 12 minutes just because of uh, certain uh, economy things that happened in the systems that I was uh, previously doing so the economy does it fluctuate but uh, if you're only doing like a couple runs if you do two runs you're gonna easily make around 350 350k and that's that's a that's a fairly decent head start on your uh, overall wealth. We're gonna sell them here. Three hundred and thirty, uh, one hundred and thirty-four k. Boom. So there you have it. Um, that's a really really quick run early game um, from right off from the starting planet that you start from. Um, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you liked what you see, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It would really help a lot. Um, I'll be putting out probably a couple more videos, to maybe a couple more guides to show you guys a couple more things that's uh, to help you out early on in this game. I'm really enjoying it a lot. Um, until next time.